After every Kentucky winter, we're all glad to see the first signs of spring. In eastern Kentucky, the surest sign of spring and the one most eagerly anticipated is the appearance of morel mushrooms. Morel mushroom hunting is a time-honored family tradition, and so is Urban's annual Mountain Mushroom Festival, celebrating all things mushroom. Morel is the common name. A morcella is the Latin name. Some of the people here call them dryland fish, sponge caps. Um, some people call them the Christmas tree mushroom because they're shaped kind of like a Christmas tree. It's pretty regional. I mean, depending on what holler you come out of, what county you come out of, it's all different. The secret to finding them is looking really hard and going to different places. That's basically the secret. You just gotta have an eye for the texture of what the mushroom looks like. It's a cone shape, like a Christmas tree almost. And then the, the texture of it is, is creases running through uh, the fiber of the mushroom. There's a putty root plant that grows at the same time, which is right down here. When the leaves just first start coming out, that will tell you that the soil is also warming up enough for the mushrooms to grow. When the uh, may apples are coming up and there's blood roots coming up, all the Kentucky wildflowers are coming up. But the secret to hunting the mushroom is that you want to get to the mushrooms before the flora gets so thick that you can't find the mushrooms. They're probably still growing even after the flora gets up so tall, but you can't find them. Mushrooms, morel mushrooms. Some people call them dry land fish. I just call them mushrooms. And they're hollow. When they're hollow, you can eat them. Now, a lot of people say, well, what kind do you get? You know, I don't know what to eat. But if they're hollow, that's the best ones to eat. You don't get them if they're solid, like a toadstool. <laughs> they don't taste like a button mushroom that you buy in the store. They don't even taste like shiitake mushrooms. I mean, uh, they tend to have their own flavor. It's in the meat genre, but I can't explain it. You can make white sauces with it, which are just to die for. You can just saute them up with garlic and onion and butter, and they're just excellent. You can bread them and fry them. They're good that way. I love the taste myself of the morel mushrooms, and I, pro I would prefer frying them in the skillet with the cornmeal and flour. The Mountain Mushroom Festival started in 1991 to represent the unique hunting of the Morel Mountain Mushroom. It is held the last full weekend of April, which is generally thought of as the peak season for the Morel Mushrooms. Timing is important because the temperature during the day must be in the 60s and the night temperatures must be above 40 and the soil temperature must be in the 50s in order for the morel mushrooms to pop up. When the morels appear, people know that spring is here. And with that comes the Mountain Mushroom Festival in Irvine, Kentucky. We have approximately 20,000 plus of people who attend. Many are our local people, plus we have a lot of people who grew up here but come back as a homecoming. We have had people from as far away as San Francisco come uh, and want to buy the morels. But our primary audience is in uh, the area from Louisville to Cincinnati in eastern central Kentucky. We have approximately 150 arts and crafts booths, food court booths, and also in our Ag and Gym and Mineral Show. Throughout the day, the booths are open on Saturday and Sunday. We have a lot of different events going on, many with a mushroom theme. The mushroom market area is where we have our cooking stage. The cooking stage schedule is 
printed and released ahead of time so that people will know who is cooking when. All right, get your toothpick. The market is where people can get their questions answered about mushrooms, just the different types, where they grow, how they grow, and that is where people oftentimes just like to stand and watch the exchange of the mushrooms being sold and bought. When the morels are brought to the market, they are weighed on a set of scales. The weight is recorded by our mushroom market chairman, and then they are sold on the spot. There's a little haggling in the market. Usually the price, uh, it really depends on the supply and demand. If the mushrooms are very plentiful, the price usually starts below $100. If there's not very many mushrooms, they start at $100 per pound. It's been the way it's been going for about the last five, six years. When I first moved here, you could buy a pound of mushrooms for 10 bucks. Well, it is the Mountain Mushroom Festival, and that's the reason I'm here, is to buy morel mushrooms. Since I was a little kid, my dad and uncles always took me whenever I was little, and it was just a yearly thing we always enjoyed doing together. And I've been hunting three or four times this year and had, had any luck finding any, so I decided to ride up here today and buy some. People have always hunted mushrooms in this area. That's just something that comes as natural as going fishing or something. It allows families to get together to hunt the mushrooms where they've always hunted them before in the past. People will go out and hunt for 12, 15 hours a day. I think it's just the joy of the search, the hunt. We feel like the Mushroom Festival is important to our community. Many people still do not know what the morel is. We try to educate the public when they come to the festival what it is, what it looks like, where they grow, how they grow, what the growing conditions are. We are a people who are friendly folks we're proud of our traditions of mushroom hunting and just the culture that we enjoy in our daily living.